Do you feel like Easter sometimes is hard to get inspiration for a table? That's what this is all about, using my favorite things, antique items I collect, but in a table form. Let's get going. As we get close to Easter, obviously not all of us get full into decorating for Easter. It's a short holiday, but it's kind of nice to have some springy tones around your house. And while we may not all have the same collections, antique items to use, I always think it's fun to think of a centerpiece that one can just be living throughout the season without replacing fresh flowers all the time or be short-lived. And so this is something I a lot of times like to do when I put together my spring-filled Easter table. And that's what this is all about. And it's using things I have, things I collect, things I love, but maybe giving inspiration to things you have because you know they make new versions of rabbits and things that you probably have around maybe in a closet and maybe it's time to use them so to start I always think obviously of scale and yes this centerpiece is gonna be somewhat larger than maybe you're used to when you're eating around a table but you can actually see around it and still converse and this way too when there's no place at the table just during normal weeks during spring, it still looks fun. So what I'm starting with is a large yellowware bowl. This is what I collect. I love yellowware. It's a banded one, and it's one of my biggest ones. It's a nice, hefty one with good size. I, I just like the texture. I like the look of it. I like that it has some good patina on it. So I'm using styrofoam in it. Now, I don't love styrofoam, but what is great about it is it's reusable and lasts a long time. I have had this piece for years and just keep reusing it, turning it upside down if I need to. What I need here, I have a cast iron rabbit. You've seen actually probably me use this in other videos. I have an aluminum one too. What's fun about this is, one, it just has a beautiful look. It's extremely heavy. So you want something that has a very solid base. So you always wanna check whatever you're using and make sure it's going to be able to hold up to it. So what I wanna do is create a little bit of a scene around this. You know, it's a rabbit. So we wanna put it in its natural habitat. Maybe make it feel like it's bringing some of the outdoors in. That's what spring is all about because we're getting close to the season where you can be outside. So I'm obviously in Iowa. It's still kind of cold here this time of year and you never know what the weather will bring so we have to bring it indoors. So to cover this up, I have different things here and I'm gonna start with different versions of moss. So we have sheet moss and we have reindeer moss in two colors. And what's great about moss is it hides so many things. So I'm just gonna start setting this up here in different just in different ways, because look at all these different pieces and they're gonna have, you know, the ability to start covering up the styrofoam. Now, it's gonna be messy here when I do it. And I'm gonna start just bringing up the different pieces. And then we are going to fill it in with the other types of moss and we're just gonna keep layering and bringing in what you can see here is all these different variations. So it's creating almost this forest floor effect that's super simple, super fun, and really easy. So I'm gonna keep layering. We're gonna see how it comes together and get it all covered up. So I have all the moss on here. Really what we're doing is trying to hide the styrofoam. And this is moss I keep around for various things. So I have a tub of this and this is what I use on top of house plants when I cut, want to cover up the soil or when, it, when I put a pot within another container in the house of a house plant and then cover up the rims of it. This is what I use. So I even had to steal a little bit of extra from a house plant because that's what I do. So then we can just put on, so you know, if you don't have this rabbit, obviously use something you might have. You can have different things at Easter and make it work. What's fun is it kind of just fits the aesthetic a little bit. It makes it feel like it might be popping out of, not grass, but kind of that idea. So now I'm gonna stick just some floral pick mushrooms. <laughs> you know, cause we have those around our house too. If you're me, you do, I love mushrooms. And what I love is the ability of this moss and then the styrofoam beneath, you can literally just hit things right into depending what you have. So I can be putting different items like mushrooms and actually make it look like they're growing up out of the ground itself, which is what's kind of fun about it. See how you're kind of offsetting and able to have these different, just different items up here. And I kind of just want to make sure I have the one right up by his foot because I think that looks right. How fun is that? And now we can finish him off or her. We don't know which one it is. It could be either one. And we're just going to put some of these old eggs I have. So you could use brand new eggs. What I like about these, these are wooden and they used to have chains on them. These are old nesting eggs. So you would put this where you wanted the hens to lay their eggs so they knew to lay and it helped them along. And that's why you can collect all different types of old eggs like this. I also have some milk glass ones because they were used for the same item. So we're gonna put them around our little bunny because it's protecting all these eggs. Eggs are the symbol of life. That's why at Easter we use eggs and we color eggs and we have eggs around. And I think when you can find these antique ones, sometimes it gives them patina and it gives them like a unique color, which I think is fun to offset all those different whites and creams. And it just starts looking good together. Now, 
Honestly, I know, this is really nothing. This is super simple, isn't it? That's what can be fun though. You don't have to go over the top when it comes to decorating, when it comes to arranging something for your table. You just have to add simple things like maybe some candles now, and you won't even notice that you don't have fresh cut flowers. Because guess what? We don't all always have time, or we don't all live close to the market where we can go get them. So this is going to allow us to have something that feels festive, have something that feels fresh and put together. One, be able to enjoy it for a long time. Two, maybe be able to use things that we had around the house. Maybe you have a basket. Maybe you have something really fun that you cherish like a wooden bowl and want to use that or something brand new like a big beautiful bowl or centerpiece that you can just do this with or pile in eggs. So now, I don't know if you happen to know, I'm a collector. I know, surprising, but I do. I love to collect things. So I'm going to set the table with jadeite. Now, if you don't know what jadeite is, which I'm sure you do, it is by Fire King. A lot of it is from the 1940s to the 1960s. And I collect something called restaurant wear, which there is various patterns by Fire King. There's the Jane Ray, which a lot of people collect that has the lines all around it. My sister has the Jane Ray pattern. I like restaurant wear. It is very heavy. It is very durable. It can be, you know, the idea was it was utilitarian. So it was made for restaurants in churches and heavy use. So now sometimes you can see I have quite a bit in my cabinet, but you can find beautiful ways to use it. Now, I sometimes do something different and this is using the larger divided plates, which I just like them. They're a little bit bigger than the normal dinner plates. And sometimes I put the napkin underneath just so you can kind of layer it and see it, but then you can see the plate on top. They can grab their napkin easily. So I'm gonna go around and start placing these and I'm gonna pull out a few probably pieces from the cabinet because that's the point. When you collect, you wanna find a way to use it. And not all of it is Fire King, that's what's great. There were different companies then that made pieces that don't match. The color may be slightly different, but it still has that beautiful look. So I'm gonna go out various pieces. We're gonna set the table, finish off this Easter look, and then we'll feel festive. I am just finishing by putting these little sherbets around, these little miniature looking goblets. So again, this is just a fun way to use different things in your collection. But I grew up with formal meals, especially on things like Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and it would usually be at a grandma's house. And grandma, actually the one that lived in this house, Grandma Alice, she was always good at doing special things. So maybe she would have a little special container by the plate when we first sat down. And it had maybe just a little nibble to have on before the meal. And you can do the same thing with these, or you could also just use them for, you know, some type of maybe an egg. Maybe you have some type of egg for just Easter in these, or some other special occasion thing, or a little treat or a dessert. You could put a parfait in these, different things like that. And I know that sounds like over the top, like seriously, Caleb. Yeah, seriously, it's a special occasion. It's the time to get these things out and actually use them because if you have them, keep them in a box or in a cabinet and never use them, what's the point? Let's enjoy them. So that's what this table is all about. It's really an ode to just the things I love to collect, but to also use and make special, whether it's for my nieces and nephew, for friends I have over, for family I have over. I filled these egg containers, not egg containers, they look like that now. I filled these, they were kind of a modern candle holder, but I filled them with just blowing out eggs. So these are hand blown out eggs. You can see my mom usually helps me because I'm awful at blowing out eggs, puncture a hole in each one. Some of them we actually just preserved, like they just dry up inside over time because eggs are porous and slowly the moisture fades. But it's just fun to fill them up with those natural aspects. You know, more and more I admit, I love to use things that look more natural, more real. I love those colors, those patinas, instead of the brightly colored eggs or fake eggs or styrofoam eggs. It's fun just to have real ones that you get out and use and that are petrified or dried because they just look good and they fit in with the aesthetic of what I love. So I hope you can see that it's fun to get things out like cloth napkins. Don't even get me started. If it's a special occasion, actually, I don't even keep paper napkins around my house. It's only cloth if I use a napkin. I hope you can see that it's totally worth having a special time and enjoying these special moments because guess what? We get one life and it can be a short one, so we better enjoy it with the things that give us a little something special, and that's what this is all about. So I hope you, what, share this video around, because when you share these videos, yeah, it helps me, but it helps everyone else see that there is inspiration, things to try, things to create, things to make that maybe they didn't think of before, and that's what it's all about. Check my website, wiseguy.com, for tips on table decorations, but also for recipes for the special occasion like Easter. I have lots of recipes coming that are really good. I have past recipes that are really good and they can all be on there. So check it out, wiseguy.com. Until next time, be inspired, get excited, use what you have. 
and enjoy the season. That's what it's all about.